Great Chapel to Vishwanath. That's a fine stroke. He's very strong in that area. Very good cutter, Vishwanath. And only the second boundary of the morning. A classic stroke there, back cut. Nicely over the top of the ball. Very strong off the back foot and Greg Chapel, man of his pace, cannot afford to be short. And Vishy plenty of time to get back and punish that one through that backward point region. No doubt that'd do a lot for his confidence. Two for 43, here's Pasco. Oh, inside edge, perhaps. Fine delivery by Len Pasco. Up there, a bit of movement off the seam. And get us going on the front pad. It's just a little bit of bat into the ball before it cannons into that pad, which is saving, but certainly played it from the crease. That's a splendid piece of bowling from Lenny Pascoe. Good sharp catch there to Kim Hughes. But Gavaskar, I don't think, did anything wrong there. It was just a fine piece of pace bowling from Lenny Pascoe. Three down, India. And Gavaskar trying to survive to lunch, but much he could do about that beautiful delivery from Lenny Pascoe. Just plugging away short of a length, letting the wicket do the rest, and a good sharp catch by Kim Hughes. The fourth slip ends before the third Indian wicket for 43. It's a good shot. There's no one in the outfield. Up comes the 50 for India. A calculated shot by Sandy Patil. Four batsmen in. Very close, no one out in the outfield, and a very safe shot indeed. Bruce Yardley, pitching leg stump. And Sandy, Sandy Patil just helping it on its way. Shot. Beautifully played that one, hitting against the spin. Perhaps he wasn't quite there with the front foot, but it didn't matter. He was there with the middle of the bat. What an advantage it is play the turning ball when you've got a long reach like Sandy Patel. Look at him thrust that front foot right down the wicket. Beautiful off drive. And two boundaries coming from this over, but that's a perfect copy book shot. Straight from the coaching manual. So Sandy Patel, he's on strike. Only five minutes to lunch. An important little session. This, and look how far Sandy Patel bats behind that, that front line. And there it goes. It's all vacant out there. No problems for the batsman. And uh, I would think that Greg Chapel will have to give Yardley a man out there. At least it'll stop that stroke. Three for 70. Lily to Patil. What a shot. Straight down the ground. Beautiful shot by Sandy Patil. A bad delivery from Dennis Lilly. Just short of a length, but Sandy Patil in superb form. Put that shot off the back foot. Vishwanath faces Jim Higgs. He's got the square drive. It's misfield at the cover. Chance for running at the bowls. And it's a tragedy for the throw. It's a terrible one from Bruce Yardley. Dear, oh dear, Patil backing up. Brisbane out of sweep, confusion, and a second rate throw. Dennis Lilly comes in now to Vishwanath. Nice deflection. We <laughs> pop it to Doug Walters. And three runs to Vishwanath. And Vishwanath, an expert with that deflection, three for 87. Sandy Patil had been playing splendid attacking strokes and playing them with intelligence and discretion. But Lillian Marsh outthought him here with this tempting bouncer. Go 
There's the hook and he's out. Yes, well bowled Dennis Lilly, kept it up. He's got one in short. Good thinking, obviously, they've been talking Marsh and Lilly. And it fell for the trap. It kills out. It's a great bouncer. Not that short. Going for the hook shot. And falling for the trap. An impetuous reaction here from Patil, who is a very impetuous type of batsman. And there he is, caught by Hughes. And what an irony that is, because Patil and Hughes are much of the same uh, type of batsman. Both fearless and going for their strokes. And Patil, very unwise in playing that stroke when the shot was never on. He didn't get inside it, and he played the penalty. So he's out, and the fourth wicket has fallen for 91. Jim Higgs falls to Yeshbel Sharma. Well, that's interesting, because Higgs formerly had the short cover there. Well up on the back. He's pushed him back again. Good shot. And you get the square leg. Peter Sharma. Lily to Yashpal Sharma. And the back is gone, yes! The red cutter. Dennis Lilly, what a bowler. Fine delivery. Yashpal committed to play. What a touch, a beautiful piece of bowling. Great exponent of the red cutter. And this took Yashpal completely by surprise. Fresh to the crease, not expecting the ball to move as much as that. In fact, we haven't seen many of Dennis Lilly's leg cutters go that far in the after lunch period this time he made it go Yash Powell followed it with an open face got the outside edge and he's on his way to the pavilion so exit Yash, Yash Powell the total five for 99 Dennis Lilly comes in from the northern end couple devs taking strike whoops he finds the edge and he gets up the mark not convincing but he gets away Hunted up for India. Five for 103. And not a very convincing way in which to bring up the century. With the ball just bisecting the split fieldsman border and Hughes and finding its way down to the bound. Vishwanath faces Jim Higgs. Nicely timed, beautifully placed in four runs. Good footwork, that. This one, a very good player of the spinners. Pasco to Kapaldev. And that's a good example. Well, it wasn't LBW, but Tim Hughes has taken another catch. Lenny Pasco has three, and it's six for 115, and the Indian innings is in tatters. Pasco and Lily. Once again, Keppel Dev going a long way across. Just flicking that off his pads and straight to Kim Hughes. And a fairly straightforward catch there for Kim Hughes. Keppel Dev leaves the ground and India are six for 115. Higgs to Kiamani. It's the flipper, but too short. Harshly dealt with by Kiamani. Takes four runs from it. And it's 6 for 126. Pick the gap again. It's a feature of Kiamani's batting. His placement is always very good. And another injury there. Good throw. And he hit that fence a fearful bang. Vishwanard faces Jim Higgs. Well, uh, the fielder coming in there, Bruce Yard, is a bit slow to get uh, going. In the end, there wasn't much in it, and Vishwanard has picked up his half century.
Vishwanath's 50, coming off 117 deliveries in 150 minutes.